I've often heard them say that the life of a dog would be the best. To love and be loved all day, to sleep all day, to rest, to be scratched behind the ear and patted on the chest. The life of a dog, they say, would be a life of my own choosing. A yard to myself with no worry, no care, a bowl always there, but are they aware that this life of which they preach is tied down on this leash, and I have to watch them go? I wait for them to come home from a life of their own choosing. I wait for you all day to wake me from my rest, to scratch me behind the ear and pat me on the chest. You tell me that you love me. I tell you, you're the best. I ask what you did at school today. As you walk away, you say you'd love to play, but you have work to do. Your eyes fall disappointed down to your shoes. You say the life of a dog is the life I would choose. You know what I did today? Today I... I slept. Today I wondered how nice it would be to run down the hill if my leash would let me, just like yesterday and, and the day before and last week and last month and last year. I want to walk down the hill and find out what's beyond to be free of the bond. I want to know where you go, to the place beyond the yard. If my leash were yet loose, that's the life I would choose. Mom says, that you can be anything you want to be. Every door is open and you have the key. Dad says you've got every opportunity. And, and me? I think that's true. I think you're great. And I want to come too. I know that you're going down the hill. You've got a free will. I've got a bowl, a bed, a yard, and this leash. You want to live like me when in your hand is a key to a life of your own choosing? So go to the land beyond the yard. When you're gone, it'll be hard, so pat my head, scratch my ears, and rub my chest. This is your life. What you choose is best. <laughs>